depend on where you live and what impacts you will experience today. Right now I have my attention on this line of severe thunderstorms in northeast Nebraska that is racing to the southeast toward Omaha. You see those counties out ahead of it in blue. That is a severe thunderstorm watch. You can think of that as the road that those storms will follow as they move south and eastward toward northwestern and northern Missouri. So the arrival time of those thunderstorms, they should gradually weaken as they approach northern Missouri along and north of Highway 36 uh, between 10 or 7 and 10 o'clock this morning. So that would include communities like St. Joe, Cameron, Chillicothe, Trenton and Maryville. There is the potential that those storms still could produce some damaging wind and some hail. The other impact for this afternoon is the heat and here in Kansas City and communities along and south of Interstate 70 under a heat advisory highs here will reach above 95 degrees. Heat index values could exceed 105 and south of Kansas City get to Ottawa, Paola, Butler, Clinton. They may push 110 degrees. Then there's the potential of another round of storms for this evening. So a lot of impacts for today. 74 degrees as you head out your door. You can already feel that humidity. It's muggy. We've got our 12 hour forecast for today in Kansas City. Highs reaching into the mid 90s. Heat index values reaching close to 105 degrees. There's a slight chance of a thunderstorm late this morning and then we'll stay dry for the afternoon and then the thunderstorm risk begins to increase after 7 o'clock here in Kansas City. Highs today north of the boundary that will be created by the morning thunderstorms only reaching into the 80s to near 90 degrees there in St. Joe and Cameron. You get south of that boundary and you're into the mid 90s close to 100 degrees. So here's the first round of storms this morning moving into northern Missouri between 7 and 10 o'clock and then we're storm free for the most part through the rest of the day. We could still see a few thunderstorms across northern Missouri late this afternoon and then after 7 o'clock scattered thunderstorms developing through midnight. Those storms will have a very soupy air mass to work with. There's going to be a lot of fuel for those storms, if you will. So they may produce damaging wind. Could it be up to 75 miles per hour in spots? And initially when they develop 7, 8, 9 o'clock, very large hail. And then the risk translates more to damaging wind overnight. And there's the possibility of a tornado. I can't rule that out today. And it's a fairly large area under risk, but only a few communities within that risk area will experience thunderstorms or severe weather this evening. What you can do now is to check the forecast often through the day and make sure you have the KNBC app on your phone so you can receive those alerts at any time, anywhere. Thursday, we're storm free, 91 degrees. So we back off the excessive heat, but it's still going to be muggy through the end of the week. Thunderstorm chances for Friday and Sunday.